Hello and welcome to Restaurant Recipe Recreations, a channel dedicated to teaching you how to create your favorite signature dishes from the most popular restaurants. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to recreate everybody's favorite thing at Red Lobster. And it's not the lobster, it's the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Personally, my favorite would be the lobster, but according to the internet, everybody's favorite thing is the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. And of course, we all know that everything that you find on the internet is true, so... So I'm bringing you the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> and this recipe for the Cheddar Bay Biscuits is going to be a little bit different than what you'll find on other cooking blogs or vlogs, because I'm going to show you an insider tip on what actually goes into these biscuits. With over 25 years experience in the restaurant and hospitality industry, I have a lot of inside information, so I'm able to kind of pull back the Wizard of Oz curtain on the restaurant industry, and I'd like to share that with my viewers and give you some authentic insights. So let's go ahead and get started with the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. But before we get started, I would like to ask if you're a new viewer or if you're a returning viewer and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you find this channel fun, if you find it informative, if you find it entertaining, and if I'm teaching you how to recreate your favorite signature dishes from the most popular restaurants. And if you like this video, go ahead and feel free to give me a thumbs up and write a comment in the comment section below. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to be making one dozen of the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Obviously, if you want to make more, you'll have to double up the recipe. But to make one dozen, you're going to start with two and a half cups of just original Bisquick baking mix. So in your large mixing bowl, just go ahead and add two and a half cups of the Bisquick. Next, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of just regular cold milk. Next, we're going to add one cup of freshly grated yellow cheddar cheese. I always recommend grating your own cheese as opposed to buying cheese already shredded in the bag. When they shred it in a bag, they have to coat it with like a cornstarch and a powder to prevent the clumping and the caking. And it does change the flavor, it changes the consistency. And in all honesty, it doesn't take any time to grate your own cheese. The product is so much nicer. So again, this is one cup of freshly grated cheddar cheese. And so now here's for that secret restaurant insider information that I was telling you about. At Red Lobster, they do not use butter in their Cheddar Bay Biscuits. They use a commercial grade butter flavored oil called Butter It. I haven't seen it on the retail side, like I haven't seen it in a grocery store. Maybe you could buy it online or on Amazon, but a perfect substitution and one that you can find everywhere, meaning at your local grocery store or what have you, is the butter flavored Crisco. Because essentially it's the same thing. It's a non-dairy butter flavored shortening. And if you buy it in this format, like in the sticks, it comes labeled like a stick of butter, so you can easily see how much you need. The tablespoon marking is right on the side here. And I need a fourth of a cup or four tablespoons of the butter-flavored Crisco. And that's it, that's all that goes in the batter. There is kind of like a butter-flavored oil and seasoning that gets brushed on top after they're baked, but I'll show you what's in that while these are in the oven. So then what you wanna do is you just wanna go ahead and just make sure that everything is blended, well incorporated, and while you're mixing this, make sure that you're kind of breaking down the Crisco. You want to incorporate the Crisco all throughout the Bisquick batter. These biscuits are referred to as drop biscuits, which means that you're using a scoop to sort of drop the biscuits onto a cookie sheet rather than using like a muffin tin. So using a small ice cream scoop that's kind of heaping, you just take the batter and you drop it onto parchment lined cookie sheet or obviously a nonstick cookie sheet and they don't have to be completely perfect or uniform in their shape. In fact, the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits are kind of like a little bit misshapen. Before I present a restaurant or a recipe to my viewers, I research the heck out of it to make sure that I'm bringing you the most authentic version possible. And one kind of funny little anecdote that I found out about the Red Lobster chain is that in Beyonce's Super Bowl halftime show in Super Bowl 50, she performed her song Formation, which references Red Lobster. And immediately after that, Red Lobster reported a 33% increase in sales. <laughs> That's the power of celebrity. So this worked out perfect. This amount came to be exactly 12 biscuits. Okay, so we're gonna put these in the oven. Start your timer at about 15 minutes and then go ahead and check them. I would think typically between about 15, 17 minutes, everybody's oven is a little bit different, but just set your timer for 15 minutes. And while these are in the oven, I'm gonna show you how to recreate the butter flavored seasoning that gets brushed on these after they're baked. 
Okay, the Cheddar Bay biscuits are out of the oven. You'll know that they're done when each one of the biscuits has a nice golden brown color on the top. The only thing left to do is we're going to brush it with, again, the butter flavored Crisco and a little bit of seasoning, and then they're ready to go. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of the butter flavored Crisco, and then I'm gonna microwave this for about 20 seconds because I want it to be melted. And then to the melted butter flavored Crisco, you wanna add equal parts, one half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one half of a teaspoon of dried parsley flake. And then using a pastry brush, just take the seasoned melted Crisco mixture and lightly brush it over each one of the biscuits. And your Red Lobster Cheddar Bay biscuits are done. Try to serve them right away because they do taste the best when they're fresh and warm right from the oven. All right, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoy all of my videos. Go ahead and hit that notification bell and that way you'll be notified of all of my upcoming episodes. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. And that way you'll be notified of my upcoming episodes as well. But until I see you again, everybody, have an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all.